Alrighty, so. <coughs> <laughs> what the hell? Alrighty, so it's been a week since the launch of Wuthering Waves, and I've been playing for a week. I think it's about time I show you guys my free to play account. Okay? Just to prove I'm free to play, I haven't purchased this. I haven't purchased any of that. Okay? I haven't purchased any of that either. Alright? I haven't purchased this either. We are currently Union level 32. Let's take a look at the main juice because you guys want to see what characters I have. Let's start off with our five stars. All right. Hold my boy Calcharo from the guaranteed voucher that they gave us. You know, I had him targeted on the uh, beginner's choice banner, but I didn't manage to get him before the voucher came out. So I just decided to use the voucher to get him immediately. Jianshin is my first five star off of the novice banner. Thank goodness, because if I didn't, I would have rerolled, which rerolling takes forever early on. Now, rerolling is probably like really good because you get so many pulls and stuff out of the mail. So rerolling now is pretty damn good. But at launch, oh, it was slow, I'll tell you. And for my third five star, we got Verena. Now, the funny thing about Verena is we take a look here at the convene. Take a look here on my history, Gion's banner. Oh, I didn't realize this, but I guess I built Pity up pretty crazy. But yeah, I did single pulls because I wanted to try and get more. Teffy, literally, on my sixth pull, I got Verena. It would have been crazy if it was Gion, but uh, I can't be mad at a Verena, to be honest. But the funny thing is, I've yet to build her. I, at this point, I feel like... Uh, Right now, I don't see the need to build her right now. I, I've survived a lot in the game, but uh, I will eventually build her because she'll pro she'll probably be a must in the end game modes, especially Tower of Adversity. Yeah, that's that. Let's take a look at our build. So starting with Calcharo, we got quite a bit of attack, defense, 100% regen, 48 crit rate with 203 crit damage for the weapon. I just got this. Literally just got this before recording. Did a bunch of single pulls and stuff. I, ah, uh, 50, 50 pity. Something like that. Very happy because <laughs> if you take a look, I don't have any. I was using a three star, uh, th 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 three star sword. I was using this before, but I decided that a three star sword is probably more beneficial. Yeah, I really wanted this sword because it's his best in slot. I didn't have a good four star, so... Yep, I was really driven by this sword. So yeah, very happy about that. Currently trying to level it up. But let's take a look at our Echoes. Starting off with the big bad boy here. I just got this earlier today. I, I think Tempest Mephis is probably just honestly better than, um, than Thundering Mephis. It's because Thundering Mephis requires like, like six strikes. And it takes so long and the last strike misses half the time and you have to get the buff or you have to hit that final strike to get the buff other than the ultimate damage increase being really good i think tempest mephis is really the true way to go it takes like two hits fast and quick plus you still get the same electro damage bonus and heavy attack damage bonus rather than the ultimate damage bonus but that's fine he does a lot of heavy attacks, so I think that's fine. Um, for a three cost here, I actually got this one from the, the guaranteed echo thingy from the store in the elusive realm, which I highly recommend you go get. It's you gotta be level 30 to, to even buy it. But yeah, you get to choose echoes like these, and I went with my electro set. This is only level 21, so I'm really hoping it gets like crit rate for the last thing here. But yeah, so far it's it's decent. Attack, heavy attack damage bonus, resonant skill damage bonus, basic attack damage bonus. I mean, that's pretty much all Calcharo does. He does pretty much everything. So I, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, we have this one. Crit rate, crit damage. Very nice. Heavy attack damage bonus. Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied. Still have to take it up to 25 to get the last bonus. This one, I'm kind of waiting to upgrade because I want an attack rather than HP. So I'm not really bothering with this one right now. This one's I, you know, got, got some crit rate, some heavy attack damage bonus and, uh, and then some attack. 
hoping it gets maybe crit damage or you know energy regen pretty much anything of that sort i would be happy for its last subset but yeah overall i think this is a pretty pretty solid set that we got here uh this is what his talents are right now yeah i mean they're talents i mean this early on they're not gonna be insane jenshin is someone i really really need to work on she has nothing really too impressive i'm not gonna lie her weapon is Marcado. see i think i'm kind of doing i i really don't know what kind of build i want to go with her i feel like in the teams i'm using her with like i'm using her mainly with calcharo she would probably want to be a support build opposed to a dps build but ideally i think i want to try and make her into a hybrid uh, I definitely do want to try a full-on DPS build because she can get crazy. Either way it goes, whatever build, I think Mercado is the way to go just because the energy regen and the Concerto energy is so nice. It's nice. I mean, I could do the attack one, but I don't know. I really like this. I really like these gauntlets. Very nice stuff. Uh, for her... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> for her build, we're currently, currently rocking the uh, arrow damage set. We got a crit rate monkey here. It's only level 15, so nothing nothing crazy going on here. I just got these two three cost today. Literally just got them. So yeah, not sure if they're going to be good because they're level zero right now. Getting echo XP is kind of difficult. I'm going to have to do some more tacit grinding. Other than that, she, she really doesn't have anything crazy going on. She needs more work, but... You know, overall, I'm very happy with the, with her as a character. She's very awesome. Um, Let's go to my boy, Mortefi. Similar to Jansen, she, he needs a lot a lot of work, too. Um, He's using the uh, Condenza, similar to those gauntlets, giving us some energy regen and Concerto energy and all that. Very nice guns. Um, He has a pretty decent, what is, uh, Moonlit Clouds set. Rit rate impermanence heron her heroin bird here so far its substats are ass but uh hopefully we get some good for the rest of the way they're running a blue ass goddamn car here honestly i don't know if i have anything i could trade it out no i i, I don't have shit to trade out so i guess i'm rocking this blue car with energy regen I mean, it does it. I mean, energy regen for substat, energy regen for the damage, or yes, energy re regen for the damage bonus. <laughs> Ultimate damage bonus is what I meant to say. We got energy regen for this guy. Um, basic attack bonus, his substats are, are pretty ass. I won't lie. Um, got a stupid boar here, you know. He needs some work. I won't lie about that. But yeah, um, as far as the skills go, Nothing, nothing crazy, you know, nothing too crazy. S0, dude, MC, I tell you, dude. She kind of doesn't have any crit rate, really. Anything going on, she could be so much better. And I still feel like she does so much more than my Calcharo right now. She is OP as hell. We're running the Commando of Conviction sword. The yeah, attack stuff right here. Then we're rocking a full Havoc set. We got a crit rate dreamless here with ha heavy attack damage bonus, resonant skill damage bonus, uh, ultimate damage bonus. I wish we got some crit in here for some of the defense, but uh, I don't know. I'll have to farm her more a little bit because I, I want some more crit. But yeah, um, got a level 20 dog here. Havoc damage bonus. Again, I wish I had crit. I mean, I got a bunch of everything else, but... I really want that crit. We're rock rocking a four-star flower here with Havoc Damage Bonus. Dude, these flowers are so hard for to drop for me. I farm them. I try to farm them as much as I can, but these guys don't drop. So I'm I, I'm just sitting here rocking this... Uh, not Void Thunder. Rocking this goddamn flower. It's, it's dumb as hell. <laughs> and we got two attack things here, so... Again, dude, I just need Echo XP to level all these things up. So I'm probably going to be tacit farming for the next day or two. Uh, but yeah, overall, she's decent. Pretty goddamn good. Um, yeah, um, working towards this too. Got to do more exploring so I can uh, end up getting that. But yeah, MC is actually, 
actually feels like an MC in this game. I love it. Um, and here is like these last two characters are one that I'm kind of building. They're not like priority, but I'm kind of like sub building them. Um, Yang Yang mainly because uh, I I want to make a video on her. I I honestly think she's a sleeper character. You know whether you want her to be a DPS or a support. For support, obviously it's because she can battery energy to your other characters. But I feel like if you do a DPS build on her, she can go ham. So I'm I'm waiting to uh, hopefully get the echoes leveled up and maybe her to 60. And I'll. I'll make a video on that because I, I genuinely believe she is a sleeper character. I love her playstyle and everything. She's so fun. Um, but yeah, as far as the build goes, nothing crazy. I wanted to get a separate set for her. But uh, the more I think about it, I really don't need to. Because I could just swap Jenshin's set over to her. But I mean, if I have two sets, then I guess that's fine, right? S1. S1 Yang Yang. Next up is Danjin. Now, the reason why I'm building her as well is because she's a really good support for uh, Havoc MC because her outro skill increases Havoc damage. Honestly, you really don't need her to be built too much if you're using her mainly for support. But uh, I think if you're going to be using her with Havoc MC, why not have an extra DPS there? Why not? Because Danjin is just insane. You know, I think her full potential consists of her being a DPS as well. So two DPSs on the team would go ham, would go ham. Um, as for the Echoes, I just threw some random shit on her. I'm going to be honest. Um, I really want to get another Dreamless for her. I know that uh, the second half of the Dreamless won't benefit because it specifically for Havoc, but this thing just slaps anyway. I'm going to be honest, dude, this Echo is so OP that I don't think you really need this Rover benefit here. So I want to use her on Danjin as well, uh, just because it's a quick succession of a attack and you can swap off when you activate it, which is very neat. Um, so I'm going to have to farm more of her just so I can have, have it on Danjin as well. You know, as much as I love the Crownless, like I love this dude. Uh, it's just, dude, Dreamless is a whole different story, bro. A whole different, different thing. She is currently S0. And, uh, I mean, we got some others here. I really want to build Tao Chi because she, she, I would say, is very similar to Jensen. Kind of. You know, she's got a counter that she can do. She's got heals. She's got shields. You know, you know, you see what I mean? I think she's pretty goddamn good. So I eventually want to build her. And then we got Sanhua, another character that I want to build eventually because she she seems so fun. I have her I have her three, three copies of her. So but yeah, she should be a fun ice character to mess around with. Uh Verena, obviously not built as you saw earlier earlier. Probably throw variation on her for the energy regen. And then, you know, I already got a healing set on her because <laughs> I, I don't I wasn't even grinding for the healing set and I just got it healing bonus uh turtle here attack golem okay that there we go that's much better <laughs> that's much better uh, attack attack you know you know I'm sure once I build her she's gonna be very good uh Yanwu I really want to build once um Yenlin comes out then we got my boy Alto at S1 he's also a fun character I don't know how badly I really want to build him but yeah and then Baiji probably I won't ever build because I, I don't need to now that I got Verena. Especially Jensen as well. And then Chixia. I need someone to actually tell me if Chixia is low-key low busted. Overall, I think my account is decent. It's pretty decent. Obviously needs a lot of work in the Echo end. Uh, just need to farm some Tacits, get that XP done. And then a lot of my characters can get really good. Um, for other other things, if you're curious about, I will be honest on the exploration side. I'm so bad with this. I was I was the same way in Genshin. I'm really bad when it comes to exploration, but uh, I really want to double down on it because I think if you do it now before another region comes out or area comes out, I think that's good. Like get most of these done. You don't have to worry it worry about it 
anymore and when a new region comes out and then you can just worry about that region you know what i mean you see my logic here i don't know if i'm stupid or not but i don't know the problem with genshin is that there were so many areas that i just didn't feel like it plus traversing was ass that's my my kind of spiel with it but um i see a cube over there i'm gonna grab that after i'm done recording this as far as that goes yeah um i guess one more thing i can show you is probably what i've challenged as for tactical hologram i haven't really gotten into the really difficult parts which is like three and four but definitely not getting into the last two or the last one yeah that one's gonna take a while the holograms are really well done i'm really looking forward to doing them eventually as for tower uh, of adversity i only completed the uh the beginner zone i haven't really touched on it at all but yeah i'm really really loving the game so far i'm slowly moving out of that honeymoon phase but uh once i do i will be sure to give all my opinions probably in a video so uh just in case that comes out keep an eye out for it but, but yeah loving the game i think it's fantastic having a great time can't wait till yinlin comes out to make my boy calcharo op as hell i'll see you guys in the next one hope you enjoyed uh actually before you click off comment down below how you're enjoying it just let me know give me your thoughts let's talk all right anyway bye bye see you in the next one come here you goddamn cube goddamn cube Aw, oh, thank you.